In this video, I want to show you how to completely anonymize Kali Linux by redirecting its traffic through Honix Gateway. I'm assuming here that you have Honix already installed and configured on your PC, on your Windows 10 PC, along with VirtualBox. If you don't have it installed and you want instructions on how to install it, please look in the description at a step-by-step -step video that I made earlier that will show you how to install and configure Honix on your Windows 10 PC with VirtualBox. So first we need to download Kali Linux from Kali.org. So open your web browser and then go to Kali.org and here in Kali.org hover over downloads and then click on download Kali Linux. You need to scroll to the middle of the page almost and here you see that we have Kali Linux virtual machine for VirtualBox pre-configured for us. And this is better instead of downloading the Kali Linux full installer and then reinstalling it in a virtual machine. It is pre-made here. It will save us time. So on the opposite side, click on this link here, Offensive Security VM download page. So here in this download page, you have two types of images. One for VMware and one for VirtualBox. The one that we are interested in now, it is for VirtualBox. So I'm going to expand VirtualBox. And here I'm going to download the 64-bit version. I don't have a torrent client. If you have a torrent client, it's better to download it via torrent. It's much faster. So I'm going to click on the name here to download it. And depending on the browser you're using, you're going to get some prompts. Here I'm using the Tor browser. So I'm going to click on download file. And then here I'm going to click on save file. OK. And here I'm going to save it under the downloads folder. Of course, feel free to save it wherever you want. Once you choose your folder, click on save. And the download will start. You see here the download is starting. It's a pretty big download. It's 3.6 gigabytes, so it will take time. So I'm going to cut this video and come back when the download finishes. And now the download has finished. Now that the download of Kali OVA finished, we need to import it into VirtualBox. So open VirtualBox, just click on Tools and then Import. And here we need to select the file that we downloaded. So click on the icon here, on the folder icon, and then go to the Downloads folder or to any folder where you downloaded the Kali Linux OVA. Choose Kali Linux and click on Open and then click on Next. So these are populated automatically from the OVA. For now, just click on Import and we are going to change them later. So click on Import. And here on the Software License Agreement, click on Agree. And the importing will start. The import time depends on the speed of your machine and on the speed of your hard disk. I have a SSD drive here, it's very fast, and I have a very fast machine, so it will take seconds only. When the import finishes, we need to make two adjustments to the settings. You see here that it has 2 GB. If your host system allows it, give it more RAM, and the most important setting that we need to change is the network setting so that we point Kali to traffic all its network through the Hunix gateway. So make sure Kali is selected and click on settings, click on system, and here for the RAM, as I told you, it is optional. If your host system has RAM enough, like mine here, it has 16 gigabyte, so I can afford to give it 4 gigabyte which is equivalent to 4096 megabyte. And the most important setting is network. So after you adjust the RAM, click on network here, and you need to change NAT to internal network. And then it is selected by default Honix because this is the only internal network we have. If it's not selected, it's very important to select Honix here, and then click on OK. And now, after you change the settings, start the Honix Gateway and Honix Workstation and also 
Kali Linux. So here I already started Honix Gateway and Honix Workstation. I'm gonna start Kali Linux. The VM by default, it has the user Kali and the password Kali. Of course, we are going to change them. So here I'm starting Kali Linux. Let me minimize VirtualBox. And as I said, the default user and password are Kali Kali. So the user is Kali and the password is Kali. I'm going to show you how to change them later. Click on Login. And this is Kali. This is version 20.04. As you see here, it's not connecting to the network. It's trying to connect. And this is normal here. So we need to change the settings of the network. To know which settings to put, we need to get them from the Honix Gateway and Honix Workstation. So let me switch to the Honix Gateway first. And in Honix Gateway, open the terminal and key in slash sbin slash ifconfig and hit enter. And you see that the gateway has an IP address of 10.152.152.10. And this will be the default gateway for Kali. And we need to also get the IP address of the workstation for the simple reason, so not to give Kali the same IP address of the workstation. So open terminal also in workstation and key in slash sbin slash if config and hit enter. And you see here that the workstation has an IP address of 11. It ends by 11. And its network mask is 255.255.192.0. So let's go now to Kali and configure the network. To do this, right click this icon here and then click on Edit Connections. And you see here we have the wired connection. So once you select it, click on Settings here. Let me bring this to the center and make it a little bit bigger. Okay. And here we need to change the IPv4 settings only. We need to remove the HCP and put it manual. And then under address here, we need to click on add. And then for the address here, as you see, the address here is 10.152.152.11. So we can give it 10.152.152.12. So 10.152.152.12. And for the network mask, we need to give it also. So you see here the network mask is 255.255.192.0. So it is 255.255.192.0. And for the gateway, as I said, it needs to be the IP address of the Hunix gateway. So it is 10.152.152.10. So 10.152.152.10 and for the DNS servers also here it should be also the address of the Honix gateway. So it's the same as the gateway here. So 10.152.152.10 and here click on save and you'll see that the connection here it will become available instantly. And you see it is connected now, the internet. And let me close this. At this stage here, you don't need Honix workstation, unless, of course, if you're using it. So I'm going to simply shut it down, just to save some memory. And for Kali now, the first thing we need to do is, of course, change the password of the user. So let's open terminal. And in terminal here, let me make it a little bit bigger. And then terminal here, we need to change the password. So key in sudo password Kali. So this is the user Kali and hit enter. You need to enter, of course, the password, the current password of the user Kali. So it is Kali now. And then put the new password. Choose, of course, a strong password. And confirm it and now the password is updated let's also update the password for root and this is very important sudo password root and give it a new password a strong password 
and hit enter and now the passwords are changed so the next step now is to update Kali so key and sudo apt get update and hit enter so this is the update finished let's also run the command sudo apt get upgrade key in yes when prompted and wait for it to upgrade this operation will take time while installing the upgrades you'll get this message just make sure you select both options with the space bar so just press the space bar and then with the arrow key on the keyboard go down to the second one and press the space bar and simply press enter it will continue and now we still have one last upgrade to do so let me clear the screen and then you need to perform here sudo space app-get dist-upgrade and hit enter and here also press yes enter and wait for the distribution upgrade to finish also the distribution upgrade was the last step in the initial configuration just as a reminder, if you want to use Kali now, you have to open Honix Gateway first. Otherwise, Kali won't be able to access the internet. At this stage now, you are ready to start using Kali completely anonymously. So to make sure that you don't have any DNS leaks, let me check it. So go to Firefox in Kali. Let's open Firefox and perform a quick DNS leak test. So the site is called dnsleaktest.com And now I know that this is not the IP of my ISP, so this is good here. So let's click on standard test and see if any of the DNS servers are from my ISP. And you see here all the DNS servers are not from my ISP. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.